Good morning, everyone. Um, happy Friday. I just wanted to come to you all with this new video because previously I've come to you with two videos, one with the author um, on my video, uh, Random with Frowley, talking about the book The Ed. Then I came to you with another book uh, called Stop Acting Niggardly by Karen Hunter. And now I'm coming to you with another book, the third book that I'm talking about in YouTube videos. When Love Takes Over, a celebration of SGL couples of color. And this is what the cover looks like. Um, and it's by Darian Aaron. So, um, you know, I know I have a large uh, gay following on YouTube. And female as well um, you know I'm, I'm sure I have some straight people who follow me too but you know as someone who has uh, delved into relationships with someone of the same sex as well as opposite sex um, this was an interesting book honestly if you take away the picture if you take away the pictures in the book you wouldn't even know that this is a, a book about same gender loving couples or to put it bluntly black gay men um, because the messages by these couples of how they made their relationship last it kind of uh, transcends sexuality if you think about it there was a reoccurring theme in this book um, with the 18 couples where they all pretty much had respect for one another. They uh, tried not to allow themselves to go to bed mad with one another. They tried to get their issues out right then and there and discuss them and resolve them so they can move forward and um, put in the other person's happiness before theirs. And hopefully the other person is doing the same because, I mean, some of these relationships in this book 20 years, 18 years, 13 years. Any number of years, I mean, the shortest relationship I saw in here before they got married was like maybe like two years. But you could all you could all tell by what these couples said and what uh, Darian reported in the book that these couples really loved each other. You know what I mean? And it's really good to see. And I think you know this is a good book not just for you know gay men or lesbian women. Uh, it's good for anybody who cares and has an open mind to see what gay couples, you know, have to say. Because honestly, what they're saying would work for any relationship. Being someone who's done both, you know, I think these messages, you know, play to both, you know, types of relationships. Um, it does talk about, you know, marriage, you know, and the equality of marriage a little bit. But these... This book is mostly focusing on these couples and what makes things work. And honestly, this is a great book for all you jaded bitches out there. <laughs> One of them I know personally. <laughs> this is a great book for you. Um, there's so many people I know who um, are in the lifestyle and who are not in the lifestyle who say, oh, I'm not getting in another relationship because I've been hurt and, ugh, all these people play games and, ugh, you know, they cheated on me, so I think everybody else is going to do the same thing, so I'm just going to be this jaded little bitch. And, honestly, you need to get over that shit, for real. <laughs> you really do. Um, a lot of these couples, when they met, you know, they weren't really looking for love and, you know, naturally that's how it should be you shouldn't be looking for love I mean typically you kind of know when someone is right for you and I could say you you most of the times you can you can know off the first few seconds um, I knew with my past relationship and I mean we didn't end on bad terms uh, and we're still friends to this day and we still hold conversations and I think that's the way it should be. You shouldn't be putting yourself through struggles with people who take so much energy out of you just to be with them. You know what I mean? Like, it should be an equal, flowing, natural type of deal. And, like I said before, 
for you jaded bitches out there go get this book order it on amazon.com it's called when love takes over um it's by darian aaron uh it's an inspiring book i read the book in one night it's only how many pages is it? it's 83 pages i read this book in one night and you know a book is good when you can't put it down so one night of reading inspired and I was never one to say that I would never find love again you know even as many failed relationships as I've had in the past you know I'm not one to say that I won't find love again and who's to say the next person that I'm with won't be the next person that I'm with for a lifetime so on that note check this book out I will talk to you all later and thank you so much Lionel and uh, Darian uh, Lionel for reporting on this book and Darian for actually writing this book because it's a lot of people out there especially gay men who think that they can't be in a serious relationship long term and be with somebody that they love and care for and they just needed these pictures and words as an example to go out here and motivate them to do the same because you know what let's face it DC, New York, Massachusetts it's just a matter of time before the rest of it before the rest of the country <laughs> honest gay marriage as well so I mean if you don't like it you know what I'm sorry but it's gonna happen but until then I will talk to you all later uh, and until the next video peace out